uh, hi everyone uh, welcome to this session so today uh, we will solve this circuit okay so here we have given that uh, this is a, a bode plot right so this is a bode magnitude plot right like for bode plot we have two plots for magnitude plot and there is a phase plot right so here it is given that uh, this is a bode magnitude plot and here uh, poles and zero lies in left of plane of s and a1 getter equals uh, getter a2 uh, sorry yeah, a2 getter a1 getter zero degree so here the gain is greater than zero degree what does it mean so the circuit is active circuit okay the gain is greater than one right like zero db is greater than one right so this is active circuit it is clear and if if they are like if the gain was less than zero db so then the circuit will be like having passive component right so this will like this would be passive circuit but in this case we have active circuit okay from, from like from this from this uh, conditions and now we can see that there is a uh, slope of plus 20 db per decade okay after after this point so here we have a zero so our zero location let's say zero location is at x x uh, x let's say uh, radian per second okay and then we have a like this slope is increasing plus 20 db per decade but there is a uh, like after that after that the slope is zero okay so so this is the this is our pole location so the like uh, the slope uh, like pole is contributing minus 20 db per decade right so this plus 20 db per decade and this minus 20 db per decade cancelling each other so we have a zero slope okay so this is a slope of zero zero db per decade okay so now the our the pole location is at y radian per second okay let's say so we have only one pole and we have only one zero circuit and uh, the circuit is active circuit okay so active circuit like by which component uh, we can make active circuits so there are op amp and there are like bjt is mosfets okay bjt is and mosfets right but actually the op amp is made up of this mosfets okay like there are many mosfets uh, like like uh, uh, by arranging some mosfet we can make a uh, op amp okay so now let's take uh, let's take mosfet first okay mosfet first actually mosfet is more fundamental okay so let's like we have a common structure right So now if we take output plot here, here this is our VDD. Let this is our V. Uh, does this circuit works like this? Not right. Because uh, this is a single pole system, right? So we need to have a at least one capacitor, right? So let's make here a capacitor. Okay. Let's say this is C now the circuit behaves like this this is a single pole system and the pole is pole is at like this is left of plane we all know no? so i am writing this as this okay so this is a single pole system but is there any zero so for zero we know that the v out should be zero okay so if this v out should be zero let's say this is ground so the capacitor like this is ground and this is ground the capacitor is out of the picture right so there is no zero like zero at infinite frequency but here the zero it has finite frequency so this cannot be the circuit right so now let's move to another circuit so we know Now can we make this? 
let's say this is our feet let's say this is our feet okay let's let's okay there there would be some quantity so this will be b out okay so now the circuit works like this so this rc will surely contribute a contribute a uh, uh, pole right this will be a single pole and the pole is isolated from all the nodes but but is there any zero not right if i make this v out zero so there will be no capacitance right so there will be there will not be a zero in this circuit okay now uh, we have tried two nodes okay this node uh, like this gate nodes and drain node okay to find the zero but the zero is not coming okay now we have only left this this node okay so make this node with a capacitor and a resistor we need capaci uh, like capacitor and resistor uh, uh, like in a same node to ground right so that we can get a pole pole and zero right so let's make this circuit okay let this is vdd okay and we are like channel length modulation is neglected so r out or rds is infinite okay for our analysis now we are giving v in here and taking v out here okay now the question is uh, what will be the pole location let's say this is r this is c the pole location will be nothing but the equivalent uh, equivalent capacitance looking from this node and equivalent uh, resistance looking from this node right so equivalent capacitance is nothing but c and the equivalent uh, resistance is nothing but this downward resistance is that and upward resistance is on over gm we know that right looking in upward from this source so the effective impedance is r parallel on over gm right so this will be our pole location but is there any zero now if i make this v out to the zero again and and this node is also grounded the capacitor is the out of picture like this is this is like this right so there is no zero in this circuit as well so what can we do next so we can have another options so we can make this circuit let's say this is rd this is vdd and this is rs and this is c okay and we are taking the output here and here it is it is our in v in right now uh the pole location what will be the uh, pole location pole location will be same right because we are neglecting channel length modulation so the pole location will be this this will be our pole location same as previous case like same as this case right now is there any zero so for zero uh, we need to uh, like we need to okay 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 sorry sorry there will be not zero right so if i take output from here what will be the case output not from here okay output not from here so output we are taking from this node okay now what will be our pole location so there is there is only one combination of rc from from like like at this node only okay so in this nodes and in this node there is present not capacitor so there will not be a uh, pole right so now from looking from this node the equivalent uh, resistance is nothing but this previous case so r r parallel on over gm here is rs and effective capacitance is nothing but c so this will be our pole location same as this this case okay now is there any uh, zero here like we know that if v out is goes to zero right like for zero the v out goes to zero like uh, as our uh, output is uh, voltage output right now if this is grounded okay if this is grounded and and there is only one branch right this branch or in other manner we can say that uh, when when the voltage goes to zero if this impedance if this impedance goes to infinity right if this impedance goes to infinity the circuit will look like this so this will be open so no small signal current can goes through here 
so small signal ke, uh, in small signal the voltage drop across R2 will be zero zero voltage so this will be V out and the V out goes to zero volt as well okay there will be no drop across the uh, RD right because the current small signal current is zero so we can see that if this impedance uh, goes to goes to uh, infinity the there is a zero right so if this impedance is nothing but RS parallel on over SC so this will be going to infinity so if we solve this we will get S equal to 1 by RC so this is our zero location okay and this is actually this is actually like like we like we get one pole one pole and one zero here now we have to check is the pole and zero locations are correct with our body plots let's see okay now we can see that uh, we can see that pole uh, rc like zero location is on over rc and our pole location is nothing but if we solve this we will get uh, 1 by uh, rs plus on plus gm rs into c right now we can see that this c is common for both pole and zero now this part and this part which one is more like this part this, this quantity is less right like rs by let's say let's say rd equal to rs okay so make it easy so and this is r so so this quantity rs by 1 plus gm rs is less than this r right now if this term is less this term is less so the pole location will be at higher like p1 will be higher than the z dot like this is our this is our z like zero location right so is if as this quantity is lower than this r right so this pole will be at higher frequency and zero will be at lower frequency from this equation we can see that so now let's say let's see yeah, th this like this result is matching with our uh, body plot or not so we can see that p1 like pole at higher frequency so we can see that our pole was at y and we can see that the pole location is greater than zero location so this is our correct circuit okay so this this body plot this body plot having like this this body plot is for this circuit okay now let's take uh, in like another look okay so in this circuit like i am drawing the circuit here as well so this is our circuit right let like forget about this gain a and b values okay so this is r and this is r wait okay this is our v out and this is c this is our v in now we can see that at at low frequency at low frequency the capacitor is open circuit right so this is out of the picture like this is open so hot like this is a common source amplifier with d source degeneration right so we know that in source degeneration the gain is less gain is less but at high frequency we can see that the capacitor is short circuit so the circuit will normally look like this right this is nothing but a normal common source amplifier and the gain is higher than this source degeneration and we can also see that at high frequency the gain is high okay and at lower frequency like lower frequency the uh, uh, the uh, like the circuit is uh, behave like a source degeneration so we can see that the gain as low gain is low at lower frequency at high frequency the gain is high we can see that it behaves like a com only common source amplifier but at lower frequency we can see that it acts as a uh, common source which source degeneration the, so the gain is less and here a2 is greater than a we can see that so for this particular body plot our circuit is our circuit is like this circuit this is the answer okay I am drawing a again here so so this is the circuit okay for this body plot so we can find the this with intuitively okay let's say okay this is our V in so this is this is our final circuit so so you can uh, put your valuable feedbacks uh, and you can subscribe our channel if you like our videos thank you